Oh, Tara, you've done it again. Oh, no, it's even worse this time. So well, I'm you're in good hands. So Come on in. You should help me. <laughs> Come on in. Thank you, darling. Oh, oh. oh, you've been here before. Assume the position, oh. face down. Your hips are a little balanced. You feel how high that is there and how low that is? Yeah, they're like this. Okay, focus on the pressure. Exhale the pain, let it go. You notice how much tighter this glute is than the other side? Because the back problems on the left, same side. The glutes will usually take up the balance when you have a low back problem. So you'll have a tighter glute on the side you have back problem. What we're doing here is trying to loosen up the tissue before I give an adjustment. Uh, I found that this is a, a lot more efficient than trying to give you a massage because for some reason the way this device works, your soft tissue relax faster, as you feel, yeah? You know, it's kind of, it's better than your one at home, yeah? Okay, this one I use specifically to relax soft tissue. The muscles, the ligaments. I came into this health thing because I wanted to put better fuel into the body. I wanted to go faster. So that's how I kind of got to here with performance. So you start taking the better fuels, you start eating better, you start taking vitamins, all these things that are easy, don't cost you any more time and, to get out and, and train. So after you've been on that for a while, then what happens is it becomes longevity. I'm starting to age. Right? I don't want to get slower, I want to still stay the same, so a lot of this has been because of performance, longevity. I want to stay in the pitch longer, I want to stay in the game longer. So to stay in the game longer, I need to take better performance. So that's how it started, you know, and that's how it started my whole quest of to where I'm at now. It's about going faster and then to train better. And then I became more interested in my own health, in my own body. Again, I had all these problems when I was 18. I'd go to a chiropractor, my neck, you know, and I'd sleep on my face. And of course, my chiropractor was my uncle. And he said, hey, how are you sleeping? Face down. He said, oh, that's why you're coming to see me so often with your neck problem. Change your sleeping posture and your neck problem goes away. So he sold me a pillow. It was so nice, I never slept on my front again. I started doing marathons and running stuff in the mid-70s, late-70s, but I was never really very good at it, you know, I was okay, but you know, it's like, eh. And then after running marathons, you go, oh, I'm out here for three and a half hours, what? Do this is boring. And I was in San Diego at the time, and this is about 1980, and this is when triathlons started coming up. So I just jumped in and doing triathlons. I figured I'm going to be out here for three hours, let's do three different things kill the boredom. So I wasn't still not very good at swimming, but I found that I had a knack at bicycling. I was, and my running was, you know, above average. So all I had to do was really work on the swim and I'm still working on the swim. <laughs> all right, heels up. Keep your heels up. Take a breath and hold your breath. Hold it. 
Okay, down and exhale to the bottom. Inhale, exhale, all out. Let it go. Okay, you, you hear that? Yeah. Inhale, exhale again, let it go, all out. Okay, one more time. Oh, good one there, huh? Okay, this is a little hammer. All I'm trying to do is knock bone back. Okay, what I'm doing here is much like, okay, you see how this bone over here goes that way? Watch. You, oh, wow. you see how I'm knocking it back? Okay, this is really loose. It doesn't it move. It sounds worse than it looks. Okay, we just straightened your spine, but there's some other interesting devices in here. I can see that. You don't want to touch it. It won't kill you, but it's much like <laughs> it's... Okay, we're only going to put it on for a few minutes. And this is essentially what it does. You hear the, the sound. Mm -hmm. Now am I going to feel anything? If you just lay back and relax. Okay, what I usually feel is something going like this on my head. Okay, just relax. I can feel like I'm being... Yeah. Yeah, like you're being radiated. <laughs> yeah, it's a, every time I lay in there, I go to sleep, I nod out. This is an ozone steam sauna. This is a far infrared. So you'll be sitting in here and sweating. <laughs> okay. Okay, this one, this one sometimes will put on some oxygen as you'll see on the other cabinet just like this we'll put uh, 10 milliliters of oxygen per minute you'll be breathing this is part of the exercise with oxygen therapy and also this is the michael jackson therapy no this doesn't make you sing any or dance any better sorry oh, i already <laughs> sing and dance too well okay strap me in okay oh okay mm. this is where my staff comes good at and we set a nice towel around your neck see Am I too short for this? No. no. Sit up straight. I am sitting up straight. Press your back though. Oh, there you go. <laughs> now you're sitting up straight. Okay. See? My posture. Yeah. How do I look? Does it suit me? Fabulous. I don't look fat in here. Do no. I? This does sure? though. You come out looking thinner. Blueberry smoothie. smoothie. Oh. Can't say milkshake. No, yeah. there's no milk and there's no ice. It's just two ingredients: blueberries, high in antioxidants, and coconut water. A yummy. natural um, electrolyte drink. Yummy, yummy. So, Richard, you have to explain to me. You've done so much today to show me what you've got available. An amazing. You've done amazing things on my back. I know that. I'm mm. gonna walk out of here a lot better than I walked in. But on top of that, you've got into the raw food industry as well. Why? Well, to really be a healer, a holistic healer, you have to get all aspects of a person's health. And most people who walk in here that not necessarily have a back problem, but that have a chronic health problem, it comes from what they eat. It comes from the end of their fork or the end of their chopsticks. So for me to be able to change people, I have to, here it is. So as they walk in and wait for me to crack their backs and put needles into them, <laughs> they'll have a smoothie or they'll have something to eat while they wait. So And it looks amazing. It looks I mean it looks like the real thing. It, it's like to say the real thing as far as what us non Yeah, they look like the cook say. cook thing. Like cook, it's a meatball sandwich. Yeah. Bread and a meatball, and no meat, exactly but like you know. And so, very creamy. And this is well, you've got the tacos. That's tacos. And you've got a recipe book as well? Yes. Okay, I, all of these things came out of here, okay? People, and I start, people when come into my restaurant, I say, hey, I didn't start a restaurant to make money like everybody else in Phuket. I started a restaurant to feed me. 
So whether I make money or not is not a big thing. This is basically your kitchen. In this it's my kitchen. This is my house. This is where I live. Okay. <laughs> you see my kitchen. Did you know there's people in your house right now. Right? Yeah. In the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, okay. But at eight o'clock, the doors lock. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's all right. Then. My son, who's a chiropractor in Honolulu, says, "Dad, your raw food is really good because you remember what cooked food's like." Where most raw food chefs are so into the raw being raw food. They forget what it's like. Everything has. Even dessert. Even oh, dessert. I've got a sweet tooth. <laughs> the desserts are over the moon. When I tell people order the food, I say leave room for the desserts. I love that cheesecakes and brownies. I had some of your brownies. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, the carrot cake, the goji berry pie, the oh. apple pie. Oh, they're all really good. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna eat this. And then I'm going to try some of the dessert. Okay. Okay, so thank you very much. No worries. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you Thanks for coming out. And I know I'm sitting up straight, and I'm going to be like, yeah, that's. But, but, okay. Yeah, there you go. I'm behaving myself. <laughs> thank you, sweetie. I really, thank really you. appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Okay. What a great day. This has been amazing. I feel so much better. I feel better in the body and everything. Like I just want to continue on. And now here we are, we're doing meditation and relaxation. This is really good. Like what are we doing that? Like what is, is this, is this my... Friday restaurant, where you will have the wide choice of Western and Thai cuisine. Ridey restaurant is our all the dining options. Recharge with a delicious snack or treat, then crown your day with a delicious dinner. Don't miss our monthly promotion. Call 076 343 444 or for more information visit patongsawadi.com. Change the way you look with laser vision correction. You can be safe and save with a LASIK procedure at the Phuket International Hospital. It's easier than you think. The entire procedure is painless, takes just 20 minutes, and will change your life. See clearer, look better, feel young. Come wine tasting at Phuket Ultimate Wine Destination. Sample excellent new and old wines from all over the world. Visit wineloverspuket.com. Get down to Flying Hanuman, the island's most exhilarating adventure tour. Our tour will take you high into the trees where you will zip line over beautiful jungle and witness breathtaking views. Our eco-friendly tour provides the highest safety standards, equipment and professional guides. Anyone can join. If you want the ultimate adventure and feel like you can fly, then Flying Hanuman is for you. Call 081-979 2332 or visit flyinghoneyman.com